Welcome back to IUS TV's morning show, The Bloomington Breakfast Club. I'm Juliana Mary. And I'm Michael Skiles. We are here bright and early in the studio this morning to give you the latest campus and Bloomington updates. And stay tuned for our interview with local fashion designer who is taking his t-shirt designs to the next level. Stick around Hoosiers, it's going to be a fun morning. The top headlines you need to know before you start your day. This is your morning wake-up call. A 5.8 magnitude earthquake has hit Istanbul. There have been no casualties reported. The FBI has issued a warning concerning the online threats of potential shootings at Joker movie screenings. Indiana University's observatory on social media has developed a new software system to detect false information on Twitter called the Bot Slayer. Local Bloomington man has been nominated for his first Emmy for his Netflix documentary. He credits the Indiana Black Expo Video Institution for beginning his career. And now we are going to kick it over to our field correspondent Jack Bassett with the latest Jack on the Street segment. It's officially fall here in Bloomington, but yet the leaves are still green and the sun still shines bright. To at least try and get you in the fall spirit while also being able to cool you down from the autumn heat, we are taking you to Upland Brewery for its annual Oktoberfest celebration. To kick off the festivities, Upland welcome large groups of customers to their brew pub Bloomington location with discounted drinks, family fun, and of course, live music. <laughs> People of all ages came out to celebrate this German tradition and try out the magnitude of over 40 varieties of beer offered at Upland, including, in honor of this German holiday, a special Bavarian lager that is described as both rich and malty, entitled, you guessed it, Oktoberfest. Getting in on the holiday fun, each employee was found dressed in proper German attire with Lederhosen and Dirndl dresses, celebrating with drinks of their own including Upland Brew Pub's very own general manager. Well, hi, I'm uh, Patrick Ritasha, the GM here at uh, the Upland Brew Pub on 11th Street. Uh, today is our Oktoberfest, so come out and come out and join us. We have uh, steins, half liter steins of our Oktoberfest beer on, which is uh, 9.50 to get it filled up, and 4.50 after that you get to keep the stein too. So. Uh, come on out, have a good time. We got a special German menu with some schnitzel, we got some pork shanks, we got German stew, all kinds of good stuff. This holiday does not just end after the single event, however. Upland is continuing the Oktoberfest celebration throughout the entire month of October with drink specials, food specials, and many other activities for people of all ages to enjoy. And if good beer and live music is not enough to sell you on Oktoberfest, Upland wants to remind you they happily welcome all people and all creations through its door, even the four-legged kind. So, this October, celebrate fall the right way with a drink in hand. Wishing you all a happy Oktoberfest. For the Bloomington Breakfast Club, I'm Jack Bassett. Now it's time for the unnecessary updates to keep you all informed on all things pop culture news. Juliana, what do you have for us? So the first thing that I think we need to talk about is that Kylie Jenner has recently been hospitalized yeah. and because of it, uh, she's not going to go to Paris Fashion Week, which is like one of her biggest appearances of the year. Do we know what she's hospitalized for? She just came out with like a statement where she just said that she was like severely ill, but I'm assuming mm. that it's pretty bad considering that I don't think that she would miss Paris Fashion Week right after dropping a new line. Yeah. So... I don't know. I definitely like hope that everything works out, and uh, I'm gonna totally 
like miss having her all of her outfits from Paris Fashion Week. Like, Not only that, but like she has she has her whole brand to run. She's got Kylie Skin and Kylie Cosmetics. She's a businesswoman at this point. I mean, she's the youngest right. billionaire of all time. She is a hard worker. So for her going down like this, especially during like a big fashion week when she's probably getting inspiration for like her next lines and stuff, it's not good. I feel bad for her. Honestly, mm -hmm. maybe she needed a break though. Like I think that she's taking on so much with being a mom that like I just don't know how she does it all. And maybe this is her time to take some time for herself. So right. okay. we'll see. Well, I don't know if you guys watch Game of Thrones at all, but mm. I just found out that the show has been nominated or er, has won the Emmy for Best Drama. So that's super exciting. That's awesome. I actually don't watch. I've never watched so it. So I'm like the worst ever. But it. oh my but gosh, <laughs> I've never seen it. it but took me I know so like all my friends it. are super into it. Yeah. And yeah, I mean it's obviously very cool the way it was filmed and everything like mm -hmm. that. So I mean I'm they're very it's deserving. Not, it's of like that. medieval stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know it's no, it's it's too. I can't like stay engaged enough to watch yeah, a whole yeah. show like that. But mm -mm. I've heard it's great and obviously yeah. it must be. So it is. It is. Are you guys gonna check it out at some point? I mean, maybe. best drama, yeah, it must likely. be pretty good, not right? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, well, is. okay, maybe now that they won, I will, right. but no. we'll go. see. <laughs> but, okay, so now for some <laughs> business news. Okay. Amazon announced wow. at their devices um, convention that they had um, that they'll be coming out with the Echo Buds as kind of like a AirPods like competitor. So it was just a matter of time until they kind of mm -hmm. stepped up and came up with something next. Yeah. Can they like but do that? Is that like legal to do to like steal an idea like that? <sighs> I mean, I, I think that it's going to be different. Like, I think that the uh, technology itself is like, yeah. I'm sure that they're not like infringing on any patents or anything yeah. like that. Amazon but really <laughs> likes to one up everything. They, they like really to release do. their own rendition of whatever there is. And, you know, I'm expecting there's probably going to be Alexa built into these. Okay, true. <laughs> you know, that that's kind of cute. I am, thing, I'm yeah. not like sold on the AirPods. Like, I don't either. know. I'm so fine well, with AirPods my power are, like, beats. Uncomfortable, in my opinion. Yes, I don't know. I think that they're uncomfortable. I think that I will lose them. They mm -hmm. need to find out a way to like make them impossible to lose. Trackable. So if the <laughs> if the Echo Buds can be impossible to lose, then I'm sold. Echo mm -hmm. Buds. I don't, it just sounds so intense. It Echo sounds buds. like literally like <laughs> the exact opposite of like the AirPods. Yeah, it sounds the Echo like the buds. future. <laughs> but yeah. Echo Buds. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll cool. have to check it out. Maybe we'll yeah. get a little sponsorship going <laughs> so I we can love try that. them. Sure, we will. <laughs> well, you guys don't watch Game of Thrones, which is sadly disappointing <laughs> to me. But do you guys watch? Have you guys seen Jurassic World? Yes. Yes, that's like one of my favorite movies. Did you guys watch the <laughs> old Jurassic Park ones? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, yeah. the stars are going to be returning from the original Jurassic Park to be in Jurassic World now. Wow. So we're I'm see. so excited. Yeah. And those movies like literally blow my mind, like the way that it looks so real. Uh -huh. And I'm just like so excited with all the new technology that they keep coming out with. Like it's only even going to be better. Mm -hmm. but I also like, don't want them to touch the classic because like the classic is yeah. so good. But I, mean, I do think it'll be interesting to see like how they take the new spin using the same cast coming back. Back, I think mm -hmm. it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I want to see like what happens and like how they, because I feel like the story is kind of set mm -hmm. at this point. So I'm like, yeah, w interested to see what they do with it. They've already survived a lot, and then they're yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm Honestly, predicting they they're going to kill break. one of them all. I think they're going to take one of the original <laughs> wow. stars out of the game. I really think so. It's a hot take. Wow. But okay. It's well, I guess we'll a lot see. Of buzz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see. Asher, what do you have for us? So, in music news, Lizzo's hit "Truth Hurts" has now been on the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart for the longest time um, by a female black rapper, beating out Cardi B's "Bodak Yellow." So it's been at the top now wow. for four weeks in a row. And that's so like. I'm just so happy because I feel like she's such a new artist, and mm -hmm. this has been like her mm -hmm. first like big hit. And I think that that's like just I don't know. It's cool that she can beat out someone like Cardi B and mm -hmm. just certainly impressive. Yeah, definitely impressive. And mm -hmm. honestly, women rappers are I feel like just dominating the charts lately, and they're that's so yeah. awesome to see. They're on the up. Yeah. yeah, but like that song came out like not recently. It came out like in 2017, and yeah. it's just, like just like hitting the top now really? in 2019. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Oh my god. I gosh. listened to it in 2017. Oh, oh, I'm sure I, you were. I'm gonna you go were a little hipster on this okay. one, but <laughs> I, I supported it from the from the start. Check out the latest segment of Asher Asks to see what the people of Bloomington think of these updates. Hey Hoosiers, it's TBBC correspondent Asher Michelson here, back for another st on the street segment for Asher Asks. Today we have some cool topics to talk about. Let's see what people think. Excuse me, sir. What do you think of Lizzo's song being on the top of the charts now for four weeks in a row, Truth Hurts? I don't know anything about that. Awesome. I'll keep going. <laughs> do we like Lizzo? Uh, 
I would honestly go with Cardi B. Really? I I am I'm more of a I'm more I mean honestly above everybody it's Nicki Minaj. Uh <laughs> I listen to different types of music, but I don't think the song's bad. Excuse me, miss. Um, in the news recently, the new Joker movie has had some speculation that people are scared to go see it because of gun violence, possibly. Have you heard of this or any thoughts? I have not heard of this. Would you still see the Joker movie? No. I, I'd still see it. I think a lot of that, I mean, the wrong thing to do, I think, is to overblow it. Um, I have not heard of this, but I honestly would be kind of scared. I wouldn't expect, uh, wow, I don't know what to talk about. I'm sorry. I actually haven't heard of this, but I would be down to see the movie. I'm not a big, like, Joker fan, but I'm, you know what, I love movies, I'd be down to see it. Um, in other news, the new Jurassic Park movie is going to be starring the original cast. Um, are you a Jurassic Park fan? Um, no, but I have seen a couple of the recent movies, and I think they're, I think they're actually pretty good. It's going to have the original cast coming back to it. Um, do we like the dinosaurs? Do we like the dinosaur movies? Oh my gosh, I've been a big dinosaur guy since I was a little kid. And we're talking about Chris Pratt here. I mean, there's pretty much nobody in Hollywood better looking than Chris Pratt who is going out and saving the world once again. Thank goodness. I really hated Jurassic World, but Jurassic Park's a great movie, but like, Jurassic World deeply upset me. I haven't seen much of Jurassic Park, honestly. That, that's not something I'm really... Neither yeah. have I. Yeah. <laughs> so Hoosiers, Lizzo's song at the top of the charts, people support it. You should still go see the Joker film, and people are excited for Jurassic Park. In other news, this is Asher Michelson with TBBC. I'm out. Joining us in the studio today is Chaz Zayed, who created Awful Cloth, the clothing brand known for its unique, eye-catching designs. Chaz, welcome to the studio. How you doing? Good, how are you? How's oh, your fantastic. morning been? Oh, so far so good, just trying to get up and running. Good, you know? good. Yeah. Well, welcome in mm -hmm. to the media school. We're gonna ask you some questions about these clothes that you brought in. Shoot them. Yeah. I did a little bit of background information on you, Chaz, and Ooh. I found out that you used to sell quesadillas <laughs> out of your dorm room. That's Is right. Is that true? That's true. How did you go from selling quesadillas out of your dorm room to owning your own clothing brand? So basically, when I was a freshman, obviously, late night, we all get hungry, right? So Pizza X, whatever, <laughs> like, I wanted to order pizza. So the problem was it, was it took too long and it was overpriced. So I decided to take the matter into my own hands by ordering a quesadilla maker off Amazon. So I ordered the quesadilla maker, and I only had three ingredients, uh, cheese, tortilla, and then my secret hot sauce. Okay. Secret. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I started making quesadillas for myself, you know, and then mm -hmm. I made some for my roommate. Good guy. But then, like, the lingers of the smells of quesadillas got in the hallways, and then everyone came to me. They're like, oh, my God, like, can we get a quesadilla? And I was like, business idea. So I started selling overpriced quesadillas, like, 3 or $4, like, little dias, and uh, it got kind of got out of hand where, like, other dorms were coming to me for quesadillas. So I was in Foster. <laughs> oh no, my gosh, yeah. that's wild. So I was that's in Foster awesome. and like people from like McNutt and Briscoe and like some people from Wright like came all the way to Foster just to have like one of my quesadillas because it was, you know, campus famous. And I was like, wow, like this is this is really cool. And even like my RA, like I had to slide him a couple of quesadillas if he wouldn't snitch on me having a hot plate in the dorm. Mm -hmm. Running a whole business out of your dorm. I'm not sure yeah. if that was in the guidelines. but <laughs> So how did you go from quesadillas to awful cloth and clothing? Yeah, so I mean... I wanted to make a bigger impact than a Mexican snack, and I felt like I was like really satisfied seeing everyone like happy like with something I made, but it was just cheese and tortilla. Like, it wasn't much, you know. So I wanted to make I wanted to make a more like lasting impact. So I researched uh, how to start my own clothing brand, and because I've always been into fashion, and then with eight months of research, I finally started it up. Me and my uh, partner Emmett Flynn, who goes to Fordham University in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Wow. Yeah. So that's awesome. so cool. Well, we did some research on the different uh, clothing designs on your website, mm -hmm. and there's a ton on there. So we wanted to know where you get these inspiration for these designs. I, I just always feel like I have like creative demons in me where I just like <laughs> want to stand out and have like different ideas. Like, for example, one of like the original designs is not on the website anymore was this awful like smiley face, like teeth like drawn in. I wish I brought it in the shirt, but uh, basically, I was drawing that in class, and I was like, wow, this would be a sick shirt, but I am very, like, artistically challenged, so I don't know how to, you know, draw and, like, digitally do all that, so that's where uh, my partner Emmett comes in, and he helps uh, finalize and creates all of the designs. So where we get, like, inspired from designs, uh, we kind of just want to, like, create something that's, like, different from, like, what everyone wears at IU, you know? Mm -hmm. 
my, like the same people at IU wear, uh, you know, whatever, like fraternity letters or IU gear, or maybe like a lot of people like wear like polos or whatever. So I wanted to like, like I look at like people and see like what they're wearing and how I could just wear something that's completely opposite of what they're wearing. Right. So like with these like designs, like vibrant colors, like purple, like I got like yellow hoodies, like like the pink hoodie, uh, orange hoodies, like just different colors that people wouldn't really wear on like a typical like day of the week. So like w when you see me like walking to class, like I'm always wearing awful. Like I don't care like what the color is. Like I like it goes well with like just who I am and just like uh, like just being a positive and like bright person. Like mm -hmm. just standing out. Like just being unique. Like I'm not afraid like just to do that. You know. That's awesome. They definitely stand out on mm -hmm. campus. Like you can tell when That's someone's true. wearing awful clothes. Yeah, yeah. So all this seems pretty complicated and difficult running your own clothing brand. What are some of the challenges you face doing so? Well, as being a, like just being a student, it's hard because one, I'm like currently I'm in I Corps. I have to balance I Corps and business, and it's it's really tough. And another big problem is like my partner doesn't go to IU. He goes to Fordham. So like every every week, like we always like schedule phone calls, whether it's in the morning, night, and like we FaceTime. We get like what we need to get done. You know, working on like new collections, new designs, like like just marketing in general. So I think that's like one of the biggest challenges and. Uh, sometimes I have to like uh, take nights off just to like work on awful cloth, you know, mm -hmm. like that because because uh, of school. So, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a balance. I can't even imagine balancing the two things together. But so we know you're a junior now. Mm -hmm. What are your future plans for awful cloth once you move on and graduate? Yeah, so I'm definitely going to do it like out of college still. Awesome. Like, yeah, I, like, I, I love it. Like I love it. I can definitely see the brand like growing more and more. So it's all, it's almost been like a year since we've uh, you know been around. So I like it's only just a start, and we've had a lot of success. So I definitely want to like wait like four or five years to see like where everything goes. Even with just like my life, like yeah, I'm gonna get a normal job. Like this isn't gonna be my like you know like career right as of now. But maybe down the road it may be. You know, so that's awesome. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see all that you keep coming up with. But show us, so you brought in some designs today. Can you kind of show us yeah. what you oh. brought in? So this is like one of the classic designs. Uh, I don't know where to eat out. Right there. There, yeah. there we yeah. go. So this, this is a long sleeve, I think. Yep. Like long sleeve. Cool. The, the, this is called the Drip Drop. This is one of the original <laughs> like, that. three designs awesome. that like we created. And like what I like most about this design is just like uh, like all the colors. And it was like our first like colorful design like that. Right, it's and bold. it's super comfortable material too. It's really quality. Yeah, oh, of course. And uh, obviously, like, it looks kind of ironic too, like, awful. Yeah. And then all of these, like, bright colors. Mm -hmm. But, like, awful, like, also in the dictionary means, like, full of awe and inspiring. So that's kind of, like, where, like, wow. the name, like, came from. Because uh, I'm trying to, pr like, promote self positivity and just, like, uh, different perspectives. Like, you could look at this shirt and you could say, oh, it's, it's a bad shirt. It's an awful shirt. Or you could look at it and be like, wow, that's unique. That's different. Yeah. So yeah. That's, this that's is like it's cool. got that sure means factor. this design means a lot to me. It's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Very awesome. And then for the next uh, sweatshirt, mm -hmm. uh, this pink hoodie. This was like one of our uh, winter collection ones. I don't know. Yeah. Where to put the, yeah. Okay. Cool. There you go. Uh, right there. It's cool. You know, just bright pink. Like yeah, first time using like one. the pink uh, hoodie. Mm -hmm. Just I love the colors. This one's a little old raggedy, but yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I love that. It's really cool. Thank you. Very unique brand. Mm -hmm. Um. So, where can people find you? Where can they shop your stuff? Oh, awfulcloth.com and uh, at awfulcloth, the Instagram. And if you have any questions, uh, chaz at awfulcloth.com. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. This yeah, has been great. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone at home watching. Be sure to follow us on social media at B-Town B-Fast Club. This has been Juliana Mary and Michael Skiles for IUS TV's The Bloomington Breakfast Club. We'll see you next week, Hoosiers.